Hello everybody, welcome to my presentation. Today I'm gonna to talk about the Hispanic or Latino culture in the US, an overview by Yesenia Chavez. Okay, there is still debate on whether or not we should include culture and cultural identity in our classrooms. In today's presentation, we support the inclusion of culture in Spanish language learning classes for the following reasons. There is a possible relationship between the student's cultural identity and language learning. There could be a relationship between language and cultural identity. It could improve the student's social skills. It could promote the idea of belonging to a social group. It could motivate students to learn uh, more, uh, more about other cultures and languages, number six. It could aid language learning at the semantic and pragmatic level or grammar and meaning. Number seven, it could motivate students to learn about other people, real people and places that are part of a different culture than their own. And number eight, it could also improve the teaching skills of the professors or faculty who use them. References are Marx, Altugan, Poesua, Mercury, and Jenkin Panda. As of today, there are more than 160 definitions about cultural identity. For today's presentation, we're going to be using this one. It's a self-categorization or a sense of belonging to any given group according to several cultural classifications. Okay. Some vocabulary words we're going to be talking about and mentioning. Hispanic. Latin, Chicano, Latinx, Latin, Caribbean, Afro-Caribbean, and Afro-Latino, okay? Uh, so Hispanic, is anybody from the Americas or Spain who speaks Spanish or there are descendants from any country where Spanish is spoken? However, a Hispanic or Latino person may speak or not the Spanish language, okay? A Latin person, anybody with Latin American descent, but also includes the Portuguese and Haiti, but it excludes Spain, according to Campus 2021. In other words, it is related with the Romance language uh, they speak, either Spanish or Portuguese. Okay. So, um, Chicano is an identifier for people of Mexican descent born in the US. Latinx is a new word in the Webster's dictionary as of 2018 to refer to Latin or Hispanic people, but with a neutral gender. Okay, some people in Latin American countries call this term Latine. Okay, so that covers Latine. Caribbean, it's an adjective. It means belonging to or related to the Caribbean Sea and its islands. I'm sorry, there is some spelling mistake in there. So a Caribbean is somebody from the Caribbeans or their language or their culture. Afro-Caribbean, a person with African descent with roots in Latin America. Afro-Latino, a black person of African ancestry who is a native or inhabitant of Latin America. A black person of Latin American origin and Africa, African ancestry living in the US. So for today's presentation, we're gonna be including all those eight terms into Latino or Hispanic to make it easier on me when I am speaking. Uh, just remember that a Hispanic person, it could be anybody from all those 21 Latin American countries uh, who speak Spanish or may not speak Spanish. Sorry about the lighting which includes uh, people from Argentina, Bolivia, Chile, Colombia, Costa Rica, Cuba, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, El Salvador, Equatorial Guinea, Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, Nicaragua, Panama, Paraguay, Peru, Spain, Uruguay, Venezuela, and Puerto Rico. Okay. Yes, I already mentioned that. So as uh, so of today, at the national level, we are about 19% of the total population. So Hispanic or Latinos were now about 19% of the total population, uh, about 60 million people, okay? However, only about 15% of them uh, had a bachelor's degree in 2016. And 50% of the Hispanics attended a two-year college at the national level. More than 50% of the total Hispanic population in the United States lives in California, Texas, and Florida. So we're mostly from Mexican or Mexican-American descent, followed by Puerto Ricans, Salvadorians, Cuban, and Dominican Republicans. Okay. Most of the Hispanics who wear a college degree at the national level are from Spain, first place, second place, Venezuela, Argentina, Colombia, Peru, Cuba, Ecuador, Dominican Republic, Mexico were number nine, and Honduras number 10 place. Okay. Most of the educated Hispanics or Latinos live in the following cities in the United States. Miami in Florida, Washington, D.C., Orlando, Florida, Boston, and San Francisco. 
So Hispanics or Latinos in the United States, we are a very diverse population, including social, economic, and geographical differences, okay? However, we also share several cultural commun communalities like the Spanish language we speak, several festivities or holidays, or own religion, family, importance, food, or love for music, etc. Generally, the Hispanic population in Texas were about 40%, uh, with about 12 million people. About 70% of the Hispanics in Texas uh, have a high school diploma and only about 18% has a bachelor's degree. About 30% of Texans speak Spanish at home. And as of 2019, about 68 million people speak Spanish in the United States, which are, it's about 62% of Hispanics or Latinos in the United States. The top five states uh, where, we, where we live, uh, by percentages is as follows. Texas is the number one over 30%, California number two, uh, New Mexico number three, Nevada number four, and Florida number five, okay? Regarding the Houston area and the Houston woodlands and sugarland, we can mention Latinos or Hispanics are about 39% of the population. Um, we account for about 36% of the total labor force. We are from Mexican or Mexican-American descent, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Cuban, and Central American descent. This information is from the UH.edu 2019. We live in the Northwest Houston and in the Northeast Houston, especially in the East Little York, East Houston and Houston Gardens, okay? About 57% of Hispanic population in the Houston area uh, was born here, which is a very interesting fact. So a lot of Hispanics are born here, more, more than 50%. Uh, about 57%. In Houston area, only about 15% of Hispanics or Latinos has a bachelor's degree or higher. About 84% of Hispanics speak Spanish compared to only about 71% in Texas and 70% at the national level. So here are some of my references. Altugan, Campos, Chavez, Yesenia, Caribbeans, AmazingTalker.com, Census.gov 2022, Chicano 2023, uh, Girvan Denberg Ruben, Jen Pila and Badan Edukran, April 20, 2005, Grayman Simpson and Naisha, Guon and Gamal, Houston.org, Hue Hua, Chen Vivian 2014, Hayun Suk Sang and In Sub Kim 2012, Latino Hispanic Culture in the USA 2020, Latv.com, Marx Heine, 2021, McGregor Mendoza, 2020, Mercury Sandra Patricia, uh, 2012, Pink Angie, 2017, Pure Research, Miriam Wester, 2023, The Atlantic.com, 2015, The Learning Network, uh, 2021, UH.edu, 2019, StatisticalAtlas.com, 2023, Yarin Sophie, 2022. Yes. Okay. Thank you for watching. Adios.